Hi, welcome to a new week of Climbing Daily. Coming up on today's show, we've got the trailer from David Lama's new video produced by Mammut. We check out the latest kit from Marmot at ISPO Munich, and we've got a sneak preview of the upcoming Epic TV series, Best of British. Up first, we've got the trailer from Mammut's new film, Serratore, A Snowball in Hell's Chance. The film tracks David Lama's three-year effort to free the compressor route on Serratore, one of the most feared peaks on Earth. All the forces of nature are present and evident and working against you. I've been there a number of times. It's a challenging place to climb. Everything's good for a moment, and it can change real fast. So when in the army the free climb and long gelingt, then how does all get talk actually? For me, it was clear that I somewhere over my borders had to cross. That was the point where, for me, from a climbing sport, I was alpinized. You better know yourself, or you're gonna die. You haven't got a snowball's chance in hell. Up next, we check out Marmot's latest insulated jacket at Ispo Munich. We're here at the Marmot stand at Ispo Munich checking out their new megawatt jacket with Sarah, the brains, and Liam, the model. Sarah, tell us about the jacket. Yeah, the megawatt jacket is a super cool new insulated piece made of a hybrid construction. It's a Polartic Alpha synthetic insulation next to the body, which is really um, breathable and a very warm down insulation um, above the synthetic insulation. So talk us through a few of the features here. Yeah, we can see here. We have a very wicking backer, so it takes all the sweat away from the skin. It makes a very good um, comfort. We have super nice details, such as the pockets in here. We have a nice fitting hood, which goes under a helmet, which can be adjusted um, here. We have nice cuffs here. And even if you put up like uh, the arms when you're climbing, ice climbing, it allows for the full range of movement. So what sports have you designed this for? Where does this fit in? Yeah, well, it's made for the use on really cold days. Either ice climbing, it has a two-way zipper, so you can also wear it with a harness um, when you're belaying. Made for the use on cold days, free riding, ice climbing, climbing. So how much is it going to cost me to keep myself warm this winter and wear this jacket? This jacket is going to cost 350 euro and it will be available from next September on. Fantastic, thank you. So that was the Marmot Megawatt, and we've seen a few of these jackets starting to come out now, a combination between down and synthetic. I think it's quite a good idea personally, and it's obviously toasty warm. Liam was doing a bit of sweat in there. Like the hood, good pockets, reasonably breathable. I think it's mainly for when you're standing still in the cold, but overall looks absolutely toasty warm. So thumbs up to Marmot. Nice team effort from Marmot there. To finish, we've got a snippet from the latest episode of the Epic TV series, Best of British. See you tomorrow. If I have a bad performance, I do feel a certain feeling of letting Britain down. I sometimes apologise on Twitter or Facebook for a bad performance and I'm sorry, I'll try better next time. But in terms of um, pressure, no. Like, I train and I climb and I enjoy it and I compete. I'm proud to represent my country and um, I will always strive to do better. I think what generally in most people's eyes makes a British climber is being bold. Like, if you look back in the day of what people like Ron Fawcett were doing and like what they were climbing, like Master's Edge and basically climbing boots that look like wellies, I think they're completely and utterly bonkers. And I think there's also a certain trait still uh, within that hardcore British climber today. And it especially highlights that when Maybe you get a climb over from America or you get a climb over from Europe and they come and try our grip routes. They have the same opinion, they just go, you are mental. Like, you're actually mental, why are you doing this? What if you fall off? And I think the British climber sees that as just the style of climbing that is here and they grow up with it and to us it's, it's natural, like it's, you know, grip climbing, it's bold.
Brilliant action. A dominant Daniel Woods claimed the men's title, topping all four problems in the final and winning by a massive 11 points.